Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite dishes using my new Instapot that I got for Christmas. I heard all the rage about these, how they're just going to change my life, and I'll have to say um, a lot of it's true. So one of our favorite meals, um, or at least one of my favorite meals in our family, is taking this little thing, a spaghetti squash, and typically putting it in the oven for like an hour and cooking the inside, and then using the spaghetti squash as spaghetti. Um, and serving meat and marinara sauce over it. The problem with this is that it requires a lot of pre-planning and about an hour of these squashes in the oven at 400, which is, you know, uses a lot of energy and is obviously very time consuming. But you can cook this spaghetti squash in your Instapot in 10 minutes. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So you're gonna start by just taking your spaghetti squash and cutting it in half lengthwise. Okay, so now I'm going to cut up a couple carrots. This is what I'm going to place um, in my little marinara sauce that's going to go with the meat and then over the spaghetti squash spaghetti. You'll notice this carrot is not peeled and that is because I'm going to be cooking it. Um, there's a lot of nutrients in the peel of a carrot, so if you're going to be cooking it, I don't really feel like there's a need personally to peel it, so I don't. So I'm cutting up two carrots and I'm just kind of slicing these thin. And then I'm going to do an onion as well. I'm putting all my scraps in this little cup. I'm kind of trying to keep the kitchen tidy as I go. Our bedtime routine routine ends. Our kids hit the bed. You know, after stories and prayers and everything's all said and done. Our kids are usually not in bed until after 8.15 and I am really tired by then. And the last thing I wanna do is come down to a bunch of onion peels all over my kitchen. So I try to keep things kind of clean and organized as I make dinner. I'm not always good at it, but something that I'm really focusing on um, this year as I build some new routines to make my life a little more efficient. So we're just slicing up this onion now. And we're gonna saute it um, in the pan again with the pork. I'll show you in a minute. Finishing up the onion. So let's check in on this Instapot. Little red guy is down. If he's up, it's not safe to open. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the Instapot. Makes that fun noise. And let's see what we've got here. I just continue to be amazed by this thing. So we have really nicely cooked spaghetti squash here. I'm now just gonna take a fork and I'm gonna use the fork to pull the squash off of the peel and that'll be the spaghetti for tonight's meal. Um, so again, cooked in the Instapot with just one cup of water for 10 minutes on high pressure. All right, so here's our end product really nicely shredded spaghetti squash and then here are the empty shells or the empty skins of the spaghetti squash I'll just toss that um, you can compost it if you have a compost we do not and then our carrots and onions that are going to go into our sauce okay so now I've got my pan preheating here on medium high I'm just going to add my pork that I defrosted in my bowl. It's still a little bit frozen, but it'll come out of the bag, which is all I really wanted to achieve by putting it in that bowl and running it under the water. Nice. Throw that away. And I'm gonna use a metal spatula, kind of break things up here. I'm just going to let this kind of sit for a second 
because the center is so pretty solid. I'm going to just kind of sit defrost just for a second before I add carrots. And those are going to cook right on in there with the meat. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and some pepper, a couple turns of pepper, and garlic towards the end. This is the garlic that I use. Um, it's from Aldi. It's minced garlic. I usually like to cut up my own garlic, but on weeknights when I'm trying to make a quick dinner, I love to go to this uh, pre-prepared minced garlic. It's affordable. So I'm going to give this just a nice mix. You can see some of the meat is still quite pink, which is totally fine. Notice I didn't add any oil. I don't need to because there's a good amount of fat in this pork, and that's going to serve... Um, to produce oils as the fat melts that's going to help cook the vegetables. So I'm just going to let this sit. I'm going to reduce my heat to medium low and I'm going to let this just cook for a bit. I'm actually going to cover it and let the steam kind of work to cook the vegetables and the pork. Okay, so let's check in and see how this is doing. It's doing great. Got some nice juices going. The onions and carrots are starting to tenderize. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. Keep the lid off. And now I'm going to add the garlic. I'm not big into measuring unless I'm baking, but this is about, I don't know, a teaspoon of garlic. And I'll post this full recipe at the end. And All right. The marinara sauce I'm using is marinara sauce. And what I like about it is that it does not have added sugar. So it has four grams of sugar, but it's sugar is not an ingredient. They don't add sugar to their sauce. That's the main reason why I choose it. It's also a great price and it's organic. So I'm just going to give this pork just another second kind of pork medley here, and then I'll add that marinara sauce. And I'm just going to incorporate it and leave it on there on low, maybe three minutes so that the sauce can actually get heated up. But the vegetables and the pork are all done cooking. I'm just gonna put the lid on it. And we'll be done making dinner shortly. Okay, and here's what this looks like all plated up. So you can see the spaghetti squash is the spaghetti and the meat sauce is on top. It's gonna be delicious. Perfect if you're low carbing it or paleo, it's a great meal. I don't do either of those things, but I, I love to have this meal um, at night. Enjoy, I'll post the recipe below.